these guys will talk crap about soy and then worship soy as being the only thing vegans could survive off of. Best soy is the best vegan food, so we'd have to make more soy. It's like these are all complete nonsense carnist farming practices especially with soy like it always comes back to the soy thing if it's the number one source of protein for vegans right now the reason why it's here and it is number one is because and of that. animal ag and they are the reason why it was brought here the, the big carnist thing these days is oh seed oils oh, you know well, and guess one. what why we have so much soy oil in the world hmm because of animal agriculture yep you know, we would use there's there's far more sustainable oils that could be grown than soy. Does soy things. increase your estrogen levels, though? Well, no, no, it doesn't increase your estrogen levels. It actually has a uh, phytoestrogen, which is a uh, it's, plant, it's plant fucking stuff. It, yeah. it plugs it into the same receptors in your body and it actually stops actual estrogen from plugging in. And it actually protects you from female hormones fucking with you. you. You would concur that most of the information out there is a lie. Like, I'm not naive enough to believe the lies, but I will say that um, I guess I was indoctrinated with meat eating just all my life, and I have never really dropped the habit, but I'm looking into it. But I'm not really seeing sufficient evidence. Like, what about the vitamins lost in uh, great meat like beef? There's no diet on the planet that's more nutritionally complete than a whole food plant-based diet. If you want more vitamins and to feel healthier, stronger, eat whole foods, man. Cows are female, bro. Um, they're full of estrogen. They're pumped full of estrogen, so they produce milk their whole life, and then they're slaughtered, and we eat them. They're full of estrogen, and they're full of hormones that are released while the animal is dying and 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 leading up to it dying it being horrified depressed tortured um these cows excrete hormones that our bodies can actually absorb okay so it's like a mirror image of each other so so what i heard is that how, soy bean causes that's how yeah. the devil does things yeah like what you're saying is actually it's the meat i mean what your explanation is makes sense i've just never heard of a vegan explain it and i and i watch a lot of youtube videos and i go through a lot of information i just never heard like uh, uh it presented in 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 that way like in, in simple terminology one of my teachers that i follow here on youtube mark Passio, he is uh, a teacher in natural law and he is a vegan as well he said that carnism he said that carnism is actually a religion created by uh, social engineers in order to manipulate us into lowering our consciousness to a lower level. Uh, it's called the beast level, uh, like trying to lower our consciousness to where we're, we're driven based on emotions instead of using the right and left brain together. So based on what you're saying, you're saying like a confirmation, like it is a religion. Yeah, well, you know how you, I like how you mentioned the beast. Um, it, it puts us back to a beach. Think about it. Drinking an animal's milk, you're lowering your mentality to a beast, but an infant beast. So not even a beast that has any experience, but an infant beast. I don't like to admit it, but I'm not the type of the person to argue with the truth. Uh, I cannot yeah. argue with that. However, like I do, I mean, I consume animal products because I wasn't, like I said, I've been indoctrinated since I was a youth. There's no way like uh program. I, I think, I think most you know of the word program, if you follow Mark Passio, you yeah, program. program. Uh, I, but I will say that the only, the only, uh, debate is larkin rose is another one uh he's pretty smart but he he's a meat eater however he says the value like we weigh the value of life so different like um like a fish yeah he he says a bunch of nonsense we're not what really about a, a fan fish? of larkin rose i wouldn't throw the baby out with the bathwater with larkin rose but he does have a lot of terrible excuses why he's still a carnist um as well as a lot of people on the one great work network um, Mark well, Passio's I think it goes network. back to like, okay, think about this. Uh, Jesus ate fish, right? 
Well, so, hold on there. <laughs> Jesus uh, consumed somehow fish after walk waking up from the dead. Someone might have like stuck some fish in his mouth while he, you know, while he was being resurrected after the well, fact. It was well, right what after I mean he was is, resurrected. it doesn't seem like it to prove he was alive. Like there's no nowhere else in the in the Bible does it say that he eats meat, and there's actually a lot of evidence that points at him being vegetarian. Um, we've however, done several episodes however, on the it. story is that he fed meat to people, and I'm not saying whether you believe it's actually real or not. This the story is that he fed meat to people, and that a lot of people have latched onto this, but he did not feed cow, chicken, or nothing. He fed fish. So is the sea creatures, are they stock? Yeah, is that the uh, feeding of the multitude or like the feeding of the 5,000? Or just is that the, what you're referring to? Yeah, remember, wasn't there the interpretation of fish was different, just like the uh, locust? They were saying that the guy eats locust, but it was actually ended up being locust bean. Fish was actually translated wrong. It was actually originally fish weed. And uh, fish weed is a form of seaweed. And then as the Bibles got translated throughout the years, you got to think it's been 2,000 years. It went from fish weed to fish. It was actually a form of seaweed that he was feeding the 5,000 people. It was seaweed he was eating. Jesus was vegan straight across the board. He was opposed to violence. He believed in consuming from the mother and being part of the mother, the earth. If MC, there's there's some really cool links. If you just go on YouTube and look up uh, Jesus was vegetarian, um, there's a very good presentation. Um, we've watched it a couple times on the show. It's very, sh it's shocking how much evidence there is of and how many people that were vegetarian in that were connected with the Bible. There were even vegans connected with the Bible. Um, we've just been lied to. Um, because everyone eats meat. So, you know, everyone just biases with their agenda. And um, if, you know, and now there's vegans around to, to remind everyone that they're, they're doing something that's immoral. Jesus, Jesus was a vegan activist. More than that, he was literally an armed vegan anarchist. You know, I mean, the guy was a boss. He was like the original anarchist. And he did not, he was not confused. He didn't think slavery was okay for animals. He was straight across the board opposed to slavery. But are the, uh, like a lion, so you're saying a lion w is evil because it is a primarily a meat eater? I never said that. A lion is designed to eat meat. A lion has to eat meat to survive. You and I have flat teeth. We have a jaw that moves side to side that's designed to grind foliage. For us to eat an animal and commit an act of violence when it's not necessary is entirely different than an animal needing to survive. We don't need to cause violence or acts of arms on animals to survive. Yeah, I think the problem here, like, it does seem like Mark Passy was right about it, that it is a religion that they created. It would make sense to keep you down in that beast consciousness level that way because yeah i mean i've started to integrate way more beans into my diet and i'll be honest with you like beans have protein carbohydrate and fiber like that's that's one is the ultimate food and yes you're correct there's more beans vitamins. are awesome yeah i mean uh, too. Like, rice is amazing rice yeah. white rice yeah. 20, 20 pound bag for 20 bucks and you could eat off of it for two weeks, you know, like rice is amazing. Get a get a rice cooker, man. Get a, a Instapot and just have that thing full of rice all the time. Oh, yeah, I got a rice cooker. Like, yeah, Mark talks about it being a very hard journey to convert from from carnist to vegan, but that's really not true in the least bit. Um, you can do it overnight um, and have nothing nothing yeah just slightly e you know like at the most you can ease it ease into it over a week um it seems to be kind of a, a a cope that's going on within the great work network since mark took so long to become vegan that everyone just has a 10-year past to do immoral behavior until they go vegan later on in life or something i don't know um but 
I would just recommend trying to go ve vegetarian on the weekends. Just try it really, <laughs> try and do something that you can uh, handle um, off, off the bat, you know, and then just try and extend that to more days and then try and do vegan just on the weekends. Um, you know, like you don't have to like the thing, the, the idea of changing overnight is very harmful for some people, obviously. Uh, if you're into the natural law stuff, then you're then your head's in the right place, man. If you keep up with Mark Passio, right, you know about the dark occultist and the what's really going yeah. on. Of course. Of course. Yeah. I mean, veganism is 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 occulted knowledge, like very much occulted knowledge. Um, I'm talking they, more yeah, like the other you, stuff, you know, like like the state, like we, like you know uh, what he says about the state and the cops and the military and all that, like how the police are evil and how the military is evil. Yeah, well, I mean the 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 war hell exists on in war and factory farming. Like it's two of the worst things that we do. And, you know, if we figure out how to stop killing animals unnecessarily for food, the next logical step is to stop killing humans for any reason whatsoever, you know? And that would be a big shift in our society towards natural law um, that would be amazing, you know, if we could stop killing animals unnecessarily and stop killing people unnecessarily. Uh, That's why it's funny when people... When people call vegans cult, like a cult, like when they say we're in a cult, and it's like at least we're not a death blood cult, you know that that <laughs> murder that, that sacrifices trillions of animals a year in the name of uh, tradition because it's not something we need to do these days. It's definitely it's a slaughterhouse, some, some sort of blood ritual that they do. The social engineers, yeah, it's definitely some sort of strange weird blood and i know that they contaminate us a lot through the meat uh there's oh, yeah. always something there's always something wrong with it my criticism of the freedom <laughs> movement is that there's no a community like there's really no community gatherings like a like church structure like to for people to talk in the community about it i believe that being more organized not as a religion but as just like meeting and talking to people to affect change and the i believe that's necessary because in order because mark said that's how they affect change they they meet up with each other and they talk and they synergize and if we're not doing the same thing well that's why we're losing the military is like kind of like it's just like factory farming <clears throat> you know we like raise animals and raise children and send them off to be slaughtered in wars and factory farms it's all it's all the same shit it's all the same mentality uh we send our kids to uh basically jail to get their education um so we can go off and be tax slaves so we can pay for the government so they could drop bombs on other people it's a wild uh satanic uh cycle that we've been in for a while and if the uh, men of this country um, did more internal work, we might actually be able to get the balls to stop these psychos and stop these wars and stuff like that. But everyone's too worried about everybody's too worried about dooming. Everybody's too so many doomers these days. Holy crap. I talk to anyone. They're just like, oh, no, 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 this matters. Oh, the world's so messed up. Oh, World War Three soon. Here's the confusion. Mark uh, and Larkin, anarchism. but they work together. They do videos together. So obviously this carnism, veganism thing does not stand in the way of them. So obviously it's yeah, not like Mark, it wouldn't be considered a requirement. It, it, yeah, it, but it should be um, at a certain point for sure. Mark's explained it many times in his videos he wants people to prove to him that they understand what's going on. So he's not going to hassle anyone about the vegan thing. He wants to watch them on their own prove to him that they're taking, that they're principled. And he's irate, you know, making videos screaming about trash apes because nobody's proving to him that they know what's going on and that they're doing things right. He's got a very small handful of people on his network that are taking things serious so i understand his frustration but yeah the majority of the people around him are not doing it 
They yeah, haven't Arkin even figured out faded. that you Remember, don't have you don't have a right to another sentient being's body, especially if you have a choice um, in not taking that life, um, which you do today. We all do, absolutely, without a doubt. You don't have to eat any animals today, and you don't have to spend more money. So I'm yeah. just confused here. So, so if we're at the same emotional level. You mentioned, though, some creatures were created specifically to eat me. Where did you, where, I don't know where that comes from. You saw the creatures, uh, some creatures are developed specifically to eat meat. Other creatures are developed, like, uh, why doesn't a lion eat grass? Because it's a carnivore. Um, humans definitely don't chase down prey tear them apart with their hands, eat them raw with their teeth um, from butthole to nose. Um, so comparing what we're eating or comparing our diets with a diet of a lion is completely irrelevant from the conversation. We're clearly I not like, I don't think lions. We're not cats. I don't think that we should with relate that? our diets at all to animals. Having, having the intelligence that we have, we should know better a lot of carnists say, oh, well, I don't know if it's sentient or not, so I'm just going to eat it anyway, which is like if you're, you know, trying to be in line with natural law or trying to do less harm, you would look at, I don't know if it's sentient or not, therefore I'm going to err on the side of caution and not kill the animal because I don't want the inventory, I don't want the karmic inventory of killing thousands and thousands of animals over my life, um, especially if I didn't have to. If all I needed to do was at lunch choose something that didn't have animal products in it. Okay, so according to you, so the lion is allowed to murder and eat, but the human is not. Yes, so the human is smarter than the lion, and the human knows that they don't, the human doesn't have to. We're held to a higher moral standard. If you know that, I mean, if you understand natural law, that should be clear to you. We aren't held to the standard of an animal, that, or else we'd be able to. Um, you know, SA people and um, kill our animals and eat our animals and eat our poop and, you know, do all kinds of weird stuff that animals do. We don't do that because we're smarter than that. Therefore, you know, moralistically, if we don't have to kill animals, if we don't have to cause massive amounts of death and suffering, we shouldn't be doing it. That's the next step into being in line with 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 natural laws, not um, causing these ripples in the world that are negative. That's the whole thing. Like, do you like, do you want to be responsible for nothing but positive in the world? Or do you want to be sp responsible for some positive, but then a bunch of negative that just, just as around what you chose to eat that day and what your taste buds have been programmed to think is a good taste. An animal is worth more than your lunch. Your, what, what specifically you wanted to taste on your lunch. Like, clearly, that's, like, kind of easy to understand. Um, and most you have to deal with this, um, like, as a man, um, you know. So do you want to keep it going knowing what you know now? That's the hard part. Mark teaches us that. You know the information now. Your accusations um, against meat eaters is that we're murderers. Uh, no, you're just killing animals unnecessarily. It's well, immoral. Yeah, that is murder. If you initiate violence on another being and like initiate like the lion murders the like murder is different than killing. OK, in order to stop this industry, which I do agree, the practices are violent, and crude. And even if it, you know, it, it could be that meat is survival because the lie here is that they say, oh, plant survival food. So one has to be right. One has to be wrong. You're 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 saying that the you're trying to convince me that the root of this the root is meat eating. Well, violence begets more violence. And I don't think that I will ever believe that uh, carnism is worse than the sex trafficking or the pedophilia. I like I don't believe that is. Uh, or I mean, it's not even a matter of belief. I know it's not as worse <laughs> as other things. I didn't say it was worse. I said it was the cause. No, no, no. The, no, the cause is the dark occultists, the social engineers. And, and they the do dark a multitude occultists of things. don't do factory farms? We're talking feeding about... Feeding people death? 
we're talking about not just carnism, Judaism, Catholicism, Islam, Buddhism, all the religions. But who's who's more at fault? Who's more at fault, the order follower or the order giver? What I'm saying is, is that okay? So the social engineers—that's the root. They must be eliminated. We have to uh, kill them. And they're socially engineering you to eat a <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Can you answer Allie's question? Who's more responsible, the order giver or the order follower? You should know this question. You should know this answer if you follow. No, definitely me. the order follower. Okay. Well, you were just saying the opposite. No, I'm saying that. The social engineers is the root of it. With if you if if you were to say kill a social engineer, they would not be allowed to push. Like they are actively uh, lowering the vibrations on purpose to hurt people. So, but if, you're but not going to you be able to stop any religion. Is, but how without, if you have a population her. that's susceptible to this programming, then if let's say you kill these elites what's going to prevent another a mother person yeah stepping into the role of those elites if you have a population that's that's who's immoral. not who's who's not uh who hasn't you know de deprogrammed the requirements themselves, for freedom man, is that man okay the requirements for freedom is that you have to eliminate these social engineers because if you don't and you don't address them uh, we have you know, to have discernment you know what I'm saying? So you're yeah. trying to fight against one religion primarily. You need to, no, instead of thinking of just one religion, carnism, we're talking about Buddhism, Islam, hit them all. Like we have to hit them all and lump them in the same category. I, I've heard it from Mark and I really do trust your judgment. And I will, you know, I'm still doing my research about it and I'm, I'm having cognitive dissonance myself about it. I know I need to stop. So what Mark teaches is to change yourself before outwardly pointing and blaming government. So this whole we need to kill these guys in government before we, I guess, go vegan is kind of this is the excuse we're getting from these Will Kellers and Logan Hearts. Their excuses for being for choosing a less moral um position so I, I don't know where you're saying mark is teaching that we need to go after government before we change ourselves as ali was trying to say change comes from the majority of humans changing themselves um, no you're hyper fixating not, on not one from religion. The government and then the people get a change because you're, you're, bad you're people really harping on the meat eating and and your buddy here is promoting catholicism while no. you're demonizing me hold on hold on sir I'm not, I am above you, Jeffrey Phillips. I'm not uh, Bob, who's to your right, promoting Catholicism. I'm talking to you about what you said. You said Mark pr promotes people to go after government and kill them, I guess, before changing inner, your, your, you know, what's on the inside. So what Ali said was, if you kill these guys that are allegedly controlling all the slavery in the world, Bad people will replace those people you just killed. That's why that's what the war on terror is. You know, that's that's a mindset that is not something that Mark promotes in the least bit. He promotes people to fix themselves first and then educate others. But he doesn't say anything about going off and killing people. So no, yes, I'm he not does. sure I where you're getting that I think from. we're I think I've watched more than him of you, obviously, and to your this guy to the right of me. Because you obviously well, you're making an assumption there. Oh, no, no, definitely not. Because this guy, like, I mean, I've watched hours of Mark running the Catholic Church, and he's actually challenged the Pope to a literal fight. He said, like you said, not that it would change. I'm just saying, if you feel threatened and you see one of these social engineers out, it's the same thing as like if you saw like an armed. What, how, on the street. how are you going to see a social engineer out and just go kill them? Like that, that's like a, that's this, you, the, the non-caring, you took the non-caring. I'm, I'm uh, looking for answers just like you. If you have solutions, 
Uh, okay, no, well, you're being very competitive. You're being com very, very combative no, about no, our I'm solutions. No, no, I'm just like, I'm trying to get the solutions. We're trying to get the aggregate on the same page. We have to go to where the aggregate is right now and say, what are we doing wrong that immediately needs to end? Religion. No, Not immorality. Just, you know, Personal immorality needs to be stopped before we stop anything else. We have to, I hate to quote uh, uh, Jordan Peterson, but we have to clean our own rooms first before we go off and kill are people in government start, that probably are, are, are just as immoral as we are. How are you going to stop the slaughterhouses, which I'd like to do too? Okay, the government's not going to let you, so obviously there has to be a removal of this government force before no. we can even begin. We teach people to how to religion. not be to not be immoral anywhere, and they stop eating meat. We don't. It has nothing to do with government. You are blaming problems on government that aren't government. They're problems with people, and they're problems we have with to show you and the, the me and the programming that we've had since birth. The social engineers. Own the like they are the ones marketing the meat, perpetuating it. They're the ones selling the poison. Who cares? Okay, Teach so people it's wrong. Nobody will like, buy it. I know that's what you like. I know, but uh, but it, and educating the public is good. But my question is, okay, so. It, it's not obviously the major concern. It's not the first of the first. The first of the first would be getting people on the same page about a movement. So the central theme of the freedom movement is getting rid of government first. Okay, so you disagree with government. So would you consider slavery a form of government? Yes. Would you consider We're us slaves under the government? Yes, we are still slaves. And I'm, what do you I'm think the tell... animals are to us? Slaves? I, I mean, I so know personally... The, like... These farms are a form of government where they own slaves. And they exploit those slaves and they mutilate their bodies. So by supporting eating animals, by paying your dollars that way, you are supporting People the first. original form of government not now, animals we need to focus on people first children are dying uh men and women are suffering humans always first that when, when you get lunch when you get lunch in between telling exposing the government to people choose a non choose a non-animal based uh product that's all it takes we need, it's, it's, it's not we a ton of effort that we have to, that we, have to we can't, first. we can walk and we chew gum at the, the same time. We can help the animals after sir. we help the humans that are slaves. We Do you walk understand? walk and chew gum at the same time, sir. May I Do ask, you understand? May I ask, how does being vegan take our energy or ability away from fighting um, human slavery? How I'm sorry, I'm not going to worry about a cow's life over an African child. We need to so stop the slavery of humanity first. That does You're not paying. change the morality of your actions just because you choose to ignore it. Because I understand just that, but as an aggregate, you're talking about individual choices, which would make you more of an individual, which will help increase the aggregate. I'm talking about the violence perpetuated on human beings by claiming you don't care by the about social engineers. Like must be Hold reversed. On. We have to be able Hold to on. reach This is a beings. top out for you to be lazy. This is an argument what, what that simply fits your out. agenda. Yeah. It simply fits your agenda and you're choosing to block everything Yeah, my agenda is freedom on for humanity. And the, the piddly, my agenda is freedom for humanity. Your you objective is to get everyone to stop eating meat. My Why would objective it be for, for is all to stop beings? cops and the military Why from killing, no, from murdering and, and, children and starving and, them in Gaza. Do, do you like think that. on the top of Mount Stupid, like Mark do talks about, think? stopping halfway before the, the, the finish line? Because you don't want to do extra work. You choose do more, you? more immorality. No, you're the you one that doesn't on want to do the work. Because you don't want to work on yourself. You want to pet animals. Animals are nothing like humans. Have you not listened to Mark at all? Animals We're are not exactly alike like humans. humans. You know they're, that. They're, they're you know like that. us in all the and ways. You, you're immoral if you would pick the life over a they child. They are like us in all the ways that matter. They feel love. 
They feel fear. They feel kindness. Pigs literally sing their young to sleep, man. They are way more that, like yes, us than that's you. important. But on the forefront of the mind, you apparently like you don't think so. Humans, we must advocate. Nationalistic person who says those people in that country, the people in the Middle me, East don't neck. matter because. Neck. 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 The forefront of the mind is cognitive dissonance. Wow. Neck. <laughs> wow. Wow. Great wow. argument. Yeah. Really, really, wow. really enlightened. Wow. Thank you so Typical much. Typical carnist mentality. Wow. Faking that they're in the natural law and then doing something like that. Holy that cow. Is so he just he just agree. he just didn't control his emotions wow. and became a child live on air. He turned real clown. Wow. Now he's in the chat. I got the N word pass because I became a rapper. So I could say both of them. I could say nigga or, and the only reason I don't say the other word is because it was used to hurt people. Wow. Wow. 